Good day humans, Chris Stead here. Today I'm talking about the difference between traditional mattresses and a mattress in a box. If you're like me, you probably had some doubts about the mattress in a box. I certainly did in the first in the early days, especially when there's a lot kind of appearing on eBay and places like that as kind of early iterations of memory foam, the quality you were expecting out of a mattress or a box just really wasn't there. And it, I, I always thought personally that traditional mattresses was going to give me the best night's experience, the best sleep thing. Now, at the moment, I'm testing a lot of mattresses. So I thought I'd get two and compare them side by side and just kind of give you a bit of a couple of pros and cons. If you're wondering whether or not you want to stick with that traditional mattress, which is this one here, which I've got the Yanala uh, Premier Luxe model, which is the top of the range in Allah. And this, which is the top of the range Emma, the zero gravity Emma mattress in a box. Now, uh, this is a king and this is a queen, but if they were both queens, they'd actually be around about the same price. They're both five grand, so really expensive. This is actually really expensive for a mattress in a box, but I just kind of want to do a bit of a like for like. Um, it's to do with the, the technology which is within this. But the pros of getting a mattress in a box are always kind of been self-evident in that the delivery is really easy. It kind of comes the next day or within a couple of days of you ordering it. It comes in a box. It's really easy to get to where you need it. So if you're in a flat or up a whole bunch of set of stairs or whatever, it's just a case of just taking the box up, opening a box, boom, the mattress pops out. Uh, and that kind of delivery experience is a lot easier and nicer. And then you've usually got these, these trial periods, which are significant. I believe it's 100 days, 100 nights on this one. If you can use that, uh, before you even have to commit to buying it, and you can just send it back if you don't like it. Uh, and the warranties on these things are still pretty solid. I believe the M is a 10 year warranty. Um, some of the other mattresses in the box have up to 15, like Sleep Firm has 15, uh, Sleep Republic has 12. So there's a, there's a bit of a, uh, Ecosa has 15. So it's, they're still really good uh, warranties. Now, obviously, this traditional mattress, the beauty of the traditional mattress is, is that you can go into a bricks and mortar place, it's, it's a real place. Uh, nine times out of ten anyway. Uh, you can try it out before you buy it uh, and it, it's not, it hasn't been compromised in a box in any way, shape or form, which allows it to kind of potentially have some stuff in it that you can't put in a mattress in a box. So these are kind of the ways it used to potentially delineate between the two. Now I can tell you that that difference is very negligible nowadays. Uh, the reality is that a lot of these mattresses, mattresses in a box, uh, aren't just that basic memory foam stuff anymore. They're using polyurethane foams, Dunlop latex, latex, uh, very, there's a whole different types of range of foams, springs. So this particular mattress has six different layers in it. Uh, it's got Emma's own, the zero gravity side of it is this kind of this, uh, this, this air mesh layer in between it because it's kind of floaty feel to it. But this also has, it's filled with multi-zone pocket springs as well. Uh, and layer upon layer upon layer to give you support and comfort everywhere. It's a very, it's a fantastic mattress. You should check out my review specifically on this. Uh, other variants in the space like the Koala, uh, the Ecosa, uh, the Sleep Republic actually has latex as well as foam, as well as uh, pocket springs and, sh and a ton of springs, ton of springs and five zone support across those springs. So those kind of things that you would usually think, hey, I've got to get that from a traditional mattress. Uh, you can get them in the box mattresses now and they're, they're really good and they're really comfortable and they're really good quality. I don't think you need to spend $5,000 to get the zero gravity, by the way. Uh, I think you can get the Sleep Republic, the King, I think is about $1,800 and it's really good. So as good as this, probably not quite, but really good value for money. Now, yes, it's true in this particular mattress, which like I said, is the top of the range and the same price. Because it hasn't been scrunched up, or I assume because it hasn't been scrunched up into a box previously, you're getting, you are getting more. You're getting 10 layers here of uh, fabric. So you got the fabric on the top, you've got seven comfort layers, using many similar foams to what these are, to be fair, um, and definitely similar foams to what you will find in other uh, mattresses, such as gel, gel layer foams and high density foams for support and bounce back and so forth. This one, however, has two layers of springs. So you've got micro springs in this, you got, um, then you've got ultra coil springs as well. The springs have nine zones of support in this. So that means that it's conforming in nine different ways. So you are getting a bit more 
uh, from the traditional in that it hasn't been scrunched up. But boy, was this a mission getting into this room. Like, because of the delivery experience, it's getting this humongous mattress. It's, 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 it's quite huge. Trying to get up through the stairs. It's very heavy. It's 37 centimeters thick. Was a challenge. Uh, so the pros and cons are, uh, yeah, I, I kind of clear in a way, but by the same token, I think that these two types of mattress experience are actually getting a lot closer together. I was quite surprised, like I said, to find that a lot of the fabric, a lot of the materials used in this are also used across the mattress in a box varieties. And also this actually comes with a hundred day trial as well. So now you can actually trial these things. You don't, the, the, the kind of benefit of being able to try it in a shop before you buy it. Well, that's kind of gone now because you can really just try it in your house if you want to, although moving it in and out is such a mission. Uh, it's not really like for like, but uh, still that gap is closing. And from my experiences sleeping on this and sleeping on a, 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 a number of these now, I've had slept on about 10 different mattresses in a box and you can, like I said, check my channel. You can see reviews of them and comparisons of a lot of them is that the experience between them is hard to really notice. Uh, you, can, you can get mattresses that feel a lot like this out of a box. So if you're umming and ahhing about whether you have to go one or the other, I think you can probably take that out of the equation. I think you can probably go for what reviews are saying is good for your body shape and for the way that you sleep and for the aches and pains and pressures that you're dealing with. And it doesn't really matter if it comes in a box or in a traditional form, especially if you're in a place where it's compromised uh, access, then you definitely don't have to feel like you are going for something lesser by going for a mattress in a box, in my opinion. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris. I really hope that helped. Make sure you check out my other videos and until next time, check you later.